I don't have any clients that have COVID. Yeah. Like, that's interesting. If yeah, we have to understand something. If we had high blood pressure, we had high cholesterol, borderline diabetic, obesity, and asthma already mm-hmm. before COVID and the flu. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Then COVID hit. Then how are we the carriers of COVID if we were sick already? So when they talk about COVID and they have us running around doing all this extra stuff, Mm -hmm. it's all about population control. This is how you depopulate a nation. You create a virus. Mm -hmm. COVID. So do you think it came from a lab that someone created? Of course. This is a man-made virus. There we go. Talk, Mm -hmm. man. Yeah, Uh man-made. You know, um, COVID was, it's three different vaccines Mm -hmm. that's all made in laboratories. The flu, Mm -hmm. SARS, and HIV. That's what COVID is. Mm. That's the 19. And you think it's, uh, you think they're going to target our community? I mean, it's too late. What do you mean? It's It's already, it's it's, it's done deal. It's it's done already. Yeah. We three months in. COVID is Thanks damn near over. Thanks for scaring me even more than I was oh, just no. scared about an hour ago, man. Uh, Don't be scared. Shit. Nah, nah. There's nah. nothing to be scared yeah, about. Yeah, this cautious, is a time right? for us to wake up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can't eat acidic and, and say we love ourselves. Mm. We can't eat McDonald's and say we love ourselves. Mm. It's time for us to do better. And COVID, it, COVID came. Mm-hmm. It took out who? It, well, what did it say? Only the, the strong survive? Just about to say So yeah. at the end of the day, all the week is gone. Mm. Now it's up to you. What are you going to do with your immune system and your temple? Yeah. How much do you love yourself, truly? Not only that, homie. People that are killing themselves because they're losing all their money. It even goes a different step. Yeah, it's not just your health and shit that's taking you out. It's people that are jumping out of windows because they just lost $500,000. Yeah, facts. Woo, man. That's deep as fuck, dog. That's deep as fuck. Um, Let's jump into uh, another story, though, and we'll bounce around. You know what I'm saying? But I want to talk about um, Master P. When I first got on with P., that was like my first initial thing with music. I didn't mm-hmm. have no mixtape out. Mm-hmm. I didn't have no, you know, that making it a band, Freestyle Friday, none of that. It yeah. was just straight raw. What year are we talking? This is, I'm going to say 2004. Okay, all right. It's like 04. So I actually got on through Power 106. No the, shit. Uh, Freestyle I Friday, used, I bro. used to be a roll call champ. I was roll call Come champ. On, you remember, um, dog, I, was, I got front row tickets Come to on. the Hard Knock Life Tour in 1999 by winning the roll call for what? a week straight. Went up and chilled with the Baker Boys. There? I was scatterbrain, homie. That was you? That was me, dog. Oh, I shit. promise you, homie, I, I battled people live. I battled that white dude that ended oh, up signing the m and M. Um, I forgot his name. <sighs> But yeah, man, me and the end. Was it um, Bias? Uh, no, no. I, um, it's it's a white dude. He even wrote a book, and he sounded just like Eminem, and he fucking murdered me. That's a um, trip, but I, bro. Yeah, they had oh, a Oh, Jensen Carp. Is that who it is? Yeah. But he has a, uh, his rap name. Um, you hot, know, hot Carl. Hot Carl. Hot fucking Carl. Hot Carl, man. Yeah. He Damn. beat my ass in the fucking uh, the finals of the fucking uh, battle yeah. of the roll call. Damn, so you an MC Dog, low-key, bro. I've been, yeah, I, I did music. That was my love back in the day, wow. man. That was my love. Music is my first love, man. Real yeah, shit, we, we, we'll we talk about that, but it's, it's about you right now. Um, so you, you won by the power. Uh, you, you, you won. Uh, I wasn't even a champ, bro. I just, like, would randomly call. You okay. know, I called a couple times, man. I called when Loon was in there. Okay. And I um I had called one time when P was in there. Okay. You know, I just I had a, a verse that I had remembered that it wasn't even a freestyle. It was just one that I, it was, you know. Okay. And I just, tch, tch, laid it down, bro, to that uh-huh. beat perfectly, you know. Was... I had mastered it. Yeah. You had to, <laughs> so, hey, not to cut you off, but Dre, that's how, that's why when I'm on the phone, I can, I'm able to, um, to rap to any beat that you put because mm-hmm. it's a, it's a, there's an art to yeah. it, dog. When you had oh, the phone, it, bro. You, you can't rap to the beat you think you hear. You got to rap like a little bit. Like it's hard to explain. It, it is hard rap. too because you on the phone. Yep. The first time he did it, I was like, "Oh damn, that's dope! Yeah. How'd you do that?" Because everybody else who tries to like sing along with they're, the intro, off yeah, beat. yeah, man, bro. Yeah. And then the nigga it's, it's was the nervous. fucking roll call, man. Real shit. Yeah. And then you be nervous yeah. too. So the that's verse you got. Uh-huh. I was young, you yeah. know. Uh-huh. And on everything, bro, I laid that verse down. I laid it down, and P was like, he was in there. He was like, man, yeah. you know. And then he had hit my line. He got the line from the power, I guess. You know, they called me. Yeah. And um, I was supposed to go down there that Friday and battle the next day because I did it on the Thursday. So Friday I was supposed to go battle. You feel me? Uh-huh. And I didn't go. I was just like, but P had my number. And he called me. Talked to me. He talked to me for like 30 minutes. Okay. He was like, bro, he was like, man. He was like, really? It ain't all about rap at the end of the day, too. Mm-hmm. So 
you still we gotta gotta see your the um how you look your, all your that whole shit. image your and whole all that yeah. image yeah man you know so he was um it took about six months you mm -hmm. know they did i don't know they were doing background checks and some more because a couple of people hit me up like <laughs> okay. bro yeah people you know oh no shit like yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah. shout okay. out my boy brandon <laughs> interesting you feel me? okay p was what? making seeing if you're authentic seeing where you're all from that. yeah all he that. ran that okay. resume at the end of the day he ran okay. that okay he ran that and um yeah, man, he hit me up, and then watch as I linked up. You know, I had met him at the Hilton Hotel. Mm -hmm. I think it was. It was off. Of, uh, it was somewhere in the valley. Okay. Went to his mansion. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm in a whip. I'm like, damn. I had parked somewhere, and I, I, he had picked me up. You know. Okay. So I'm driving and shit. I mean, I'm in the car, and then you should see fucking falls. It's uh, what's it? Burbank. Okay. It? Oh Look, damn. I'm gonna say uh, Brentwood. I'm Brentwood. tripping. Brentwood. Okay. Brentwood Mansions. Okay. You feel me? It's like way up. So, um, yeah, you know, and I had went in the mansion and shit. I seen P right there grinning, and it was a beat playing. He was in there by himself, you okay. feel me? I see the rest of the No Limit, no limit niggas outside. That had to be a fucking smoking. high in your in your like, like, you, you had damn. In your head, you're like, motherfucker. I was shocked because at the end of the day, no bullshit does it. I was a motherfucking No Limit fan. Dog, Crazy. I had, remember our CD cases? You kids don't know what the fuck a CD case is. On me. But, dog, every, my CD case at, from probably fucking 96 or whatever, 99, 2000, Probably eighty yeah. percent no limit. Air, I would literally, dog. I would literally buy every single no limit. And there were a couple people that I liked. So if they weren't on it, then I yeah. probably wouldn't have bought it. But there was all. But if there was one person I liked on there, like Mystical or Servon, and I can't even but lie, fuck with Silk the Shocker. Like, yeah, every back, week, dog. Man. Every week. I looked on uh, Billboard one time, and I remember counting. 18 it was i think it's 18 that's that sounds like 18 no limit uh, in the 100 in the top 100 those Damn, 18 fucking no limits dog yeah that's crazy yeah so you were a fan too i was a big yeah. fan man i had the fake no limit tank and all that <laughs> no shit it was so but at that time i wasn't really a fan no more it was like it, it was it was past the 20, tank was kind of course, getting a little it was, yeah you know cash money came a little and did bit, the cash thing. money moving yeah. at this oh, time yeah. oh yeah you know what I'm saying? And, and and the only person known at this time, shout out my boy Crazy. Um, oh, no shit. A couple yeah, artists on Known Limit that's hard. That, at that time, oh, I had got on Hallelujah. It's a lot of pop, be black. But at that time, Currency was on No Limit. Okay. But right when yep. I got on, like he left like a couple months before and went okay. to Cash Money. Yeah. So the only person I really knew was uh, Currency that was spitting. Okay. Like, damn, Currency yeah. hard. So when I got there, I remember asking Crazy about him. He like, nah, he gone. I'm like, like oh, damn, what? Man. So uh, crazy was the last man standing, pretty much. You oh, know, me from crazy the, been solid. Crazy come yeah. out. Crazy used to call me when he touched down to L.A. Because you know what I'm saying. Crazy normally them niggas don't know. They just be like above Sepulveda. They don't be in like the, the city, city, the, the South Central, all that. So they come okay. hit me up. They going to the uh, yeah, yeah. They hitting West better. L.A. from Pico to motherfucking Imperial. Uh -huh. They hitting all the spots. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They call me him and Hallelujah. You feel me? And um, yeah, good times, man. Crazy, a good dude. That's dope. That's dope. Good dude. So you um, so did you end up signing with them? Or? So uh, so let me all right. Let me reverse back a little bit, does he? So when I get in the stool, I see uh -huh. P. You okay. feel me? P yeah. got the notepad in his hand. Okay. I'm like, oh, he like, what's up, man? He had a little smile on his face, like uh -huh. he kind of had a grin. I'm like, damn, it's P. You feel me? I'm nervous a little bit. He like, hey. He like you got some of this and a beat playing, you feel me? Uh -huh. So I'm like, ooh, I'm like, Phew. like shit. Wow, and I, and I had make a, something at this I time, I had a lot of pre written yeah. in my mind. Oh yeah, the shit that I worked on for. Uh -huh. You know what and I mean? It comes out perfect. You know when the pop man, hit, the shit I done yeah. had for in months. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. So, so boom. So he had all the. It was a gang of little, gang of young no limit niggas and shit. Different motherfuckers. Silk and them wasn't there. A lot of the top dogs wasn't there at this time. Okay. It was just a gang of New Orleans motherfuckers out there. So. Um, then he was like, hey, y'all, come in. Lil Romeo and all them came through. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, man. So I'm like, I'm, you can either be nervous or you can get this motherfucking yeah, money. This crack. is one shot. Yeah. You feel me? I yeah. can fuck up. And he be like, nah. I appreciate you, though, my nigga. He go a shirt. Yeah. You feel me? He go a couple CDs. Nah, uh -huh. my nigga. You feel me? I'm like, nigga, I'm about to get this chili, yeah. nigga. Once you in crazy? a lifetime opportunity, dog. Yeah, I'm Literally. like, man, I'm out Literally. here. You feel me? So yeah. I'm like, man, fuck all that scary shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck these niggas. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? So boom, I spit my shit. He was, you know. That was all she wrote. Yeah. And next thing I know, you know, I, that same verse I did, I laid that on a Ghetto Bill Gates album. Okay. The Ghetto Bill was uh, number 12, I'm a Gangster. No shit. All right. Hell yeah. Damn, so, dog. It was a blessing. It was a blessing. And then it was like a, it was a blessing. And I ain't going to say curse. Okay. Because nigga didn't really eat. I didn't really eat like that with P. Gotcha. P, P was going through some shit with the IRS and all that at that time. You feel me? He spoke on it. That's the only way I'm speaking on it. He yeah. spoke on it on the Ghetto Bill. He like, 
So um, I was actually on two Master P albums, you know. Oh, okay. But P was a blessing, though, man, because uh, say a regular artist that's doing this shit, you mm -hmm. feel me? Hey, my nigga, Dino West, bro, I'm trying to do my shit music. A lot yeah, of motherfuckers ain't gonna answer to that door. Yeah. People right. just, ah, with that no limit step, like, hey, Dino West, no limit. That door opening up. That's crazy. So that was when, that was the major thing. Like, yeah. I'm talking about BET Awards, me and my nigga Clutch, Dietary. We young niggas, we 19 years, no 20 shit. years old. We, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We walking in, he was already getting in the BET Awards. He, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I remember that next year, I remember uh, we walked through the gates like with that chain. Uh -huh, when Master P finally power. gave me that chain, it was really power. Damn, dog. That shit. Phew. So in yeah. a sense, but you know, in a sense it was cool, you know. But as far as like, I had to fake the funk with a lot of times. As far as like yeah. niggas thinking I had money, I didn't have no bread. Yeah, P wasn't right. really feeding a nigga That's like that. Part, yeah. But he looked out for me, giving me that stamp. Like you under no limit. Yeah. Like you under us. You know, but it's, at the end of the day, it was like, man, the nigga need to eat. Mm. I can't be working on security guard job. Niggas looking, Dino West, my yeah. nigga. I got to hide and shit. This ain't yeah. me, my nigga. Yeah, they're looking at nah, the CD like. Nah, nah, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah. God, my yeah. nigga. Yeah, that's real So tough, it's man. just a real shit. Like, I love Peter Death, though. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Peace slid, slid me a couple hundred dollars, though. Oh, okay. Like, several years ago. I had, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga, Young, uh, young Miller. Don Miller. Don, you feel me? He okay. was, you heard of Don Miller? Nah, nah. I know it's a Miller. He's, he's obviously related, right? He doing his shit now. Oh, okay. He nah, doing it like, him. you look him up, you feel me? Don he making Miller. moves. Don okay. Miller, Young Miller, actually. Young Miller. You feel me? He He's, uh, I think he like Master Young you Miller. He's from Louisiana. He's, my, that's yeah. who he is. I young was, in, Miller, I was in Louisiana in fucking my dumb ass in, in early March, right at the tip of fucking COVID. I literally stick my dick in. <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah, they were playing him in fucking, uh, and I was like, who is this? And it yeah. was Young Miller. Okay, He said exactly. he was, um. Yeah, that's my little Young nigga, Miller. man. He no came shit. and stayed with me yeah. for a little bit. You no, feel me? So he was going through some shit when I was living in uh, Koreatown. He okay. slid through. That's and uh, Master P was like, oh, Dino there? And slid me a couple of dollars. But I don't know what happened. Oh, God. I just don't know what happened with P. Because I didn't get no word. Like, hey, D, like, we not fucking with you right now, my nigga. He like, just ghosted you? Like, he ghosted me, low key. Damn, dog. This nigga doing video shoots. Niggas hit me up. Like, where you at? You ain't at the shoot? I'm like, what? What? So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no yeah. thirsty nigga. I ain't finna blab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah. fuck it, you know? But that left a bad taste in my mouth as far as, like, this whole music shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, man. Yeah. Damn, dog. Bad taste in my mouth, DV. Yeah, Like, yeah. I'm like, nigga, I was solid to them niggas. I was like, nigga, the yeah. tank, I was right. I was, I would've got yeah. popped for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Nigga would've tried to snatch my chain. You would've had to pop me. You ain't getting that. Damn, dog. Like, <laughs> on some stupid <laughs> shit. And I would get a nickel. You feel me? But, uh, you know, I was on some Damn, money shit. Damn, man. I couldn't just go to another label like that. I felt like I was, ugh, I was a tank nigga. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So and plus I wasn't really doing. I wasn't really no art rapper like that. What do you I mean? I got lucky, bro. Okay. Like nigga, I started rapping in the twelfth grade. And no shit. Just the next year out of high school. You feel me? Yes. Oh, bro, motherfuckers go eight, nine years trying to make it, bro. and you made it in a year, oh, so man. Fresh out of high school. Man. Fresh out of high school. Straight up. My nigga. Yeah. Oh god. Roll call. Put him That's on. Crazy, we was in homie. his house in his what room. What did you go by a roll call? Uh, what was you? D West, Dino was it, West. Was it Dino West back then? Man, was it West? No, we just called it. Cause West. I was, I was, West I was early uh, was roll call. I was, I was literally like the first. Year, you know two what years name I call? use? I use my real name when Master P heard me. I use Denzel. Denzel, okay. Yeah. Cause I have a lot of them on That's tape. My man. government niggas have a look lot me of them on tape. Clean as a whistle. Okay, nice. No paperwork, baby. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Damn, dog. So, what could have made the situation better? You think? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like to where you'd be. Man, like, one thing about P, he a true colonel though. He mm -hmm. a true. He, I mean, he a true boss. He know how to run shit. He mm -hmm. know how to run the tank, man. He he know how to run. He can run an army of niggas, man. Mm -hmm. Like when he spoke, he had that power. Niggas listen. Yeah. Like this dude. Like when we was at Ray Shrimmon's house, you mm -hmm. feel me? I had went with him. I didn't even know. Slid to the mansion. When he spoke, all them little niggas, them niggas was there listening. Mm -hmm. Like he had command. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Master P had that command, gotcha. but he I just, I don't know what's going, I don't know. I honestly mm. don't know what's up with the tank, man, because yeah. the tank, they done had a lot of hard niggas, but it's not, come on, he had Alley Boy and Fat Trail. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you got some niggas like that, right, when Fat dude. Trail was young yeah. doing his thing, that's you feel war, me? Yeah. And and nothing nothing transpired free from that trail. at all. Yeah, man. Yeah, Free Trail, you know, nothing yeah. transpired. Alley Boy, nothing transpired. He had niggas like them, them Spider Gang dudes who's dropping millions of views. Okay. They got millions. Yeah, they run it up. Them. He had them. Didn't do. They didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing with them. As soon as they left P, boom, Blew they up. out the window. Yeah, man. Same thing with Currency. his nephew, I mean, Young yeah. Miller. He left P, boom. Yeah. 
I don't know. P a true boss, but I don't know what kind of motherfuckers put a hex. I don't know. He just maybe just signed so many people <laughs> what that. What the fuck going yeah. on with the tank? Because the tank, I'll be hearing some shit like they Man. are. He and got that, some hard artists. Does he really to this day? But, I'm not even hip yet to, to who's on there. But no, I just remember back in the day. What I loved about him was those CDs were were like if he fucked up, he was a one take dude. Like oh, if he messed up or if he was off beat on on a, on a song back in the day in the '90s and shit, he just let that shit ride. Like t- he didn't oh, care God. if his ad libs matched. Like he was, it was just raw. And sometimes the mix was a little bit off, so your trunk rattled a little bit more. Oh, the really? next song didn't rattle as much. That's what I loved about No Limit man, back it, in the day, dude. He was the coldest. That's man. what I loved. And the singers were never really that good. Let's keep it real. He always he had shout some... out Lexus. <laughs> there was a couple like the of them that was cool. Oh, yeah. female Ooh, rapper, the homegirl Alexis. She I had her Queen big Street. ass. I had her big ass poster on my uh, on my wall. Mercedes, yeah. right? Oh, with the yeah. car. Yeah, Mercedes yeah. hard, but Lexus. I want to smack her. She oh, was like yeah? funny. She was bad. Oh, you me. want to smack her? Smack her. I'm gonna yeah. oh, smash her. He's like yeah. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. gotcha. I was okay. trying, man. She was on some other stuff, but she she solid. Oh, In- okay. Inglewood, Queen yeah. Street. Nah. She solid. She was. There you go. She had some. Yeah, some homegirl. She was Shout with Master P and shit. But she was there before that situation. Before uh-huh. I was on with Master P. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Damn, damn, dude. Solid shit, bro. Well, shit. How you doing over there, Dre? Good. You good, man? You yeah. good? Well, let's uh let's let's start to wrap it up, man. But Hell one yeah. uh one question I want to um ask you is where can everybody find you and what's cracking right now with Dino West? Bro, lately I've been I've been low key, man. Like I stopped rapping after that whole situation. Yeah, niggas just... hit me up. Niggas been hit me up. They still hit me up like for some feature shit. But I just, you know, yeah, that just... whole shit, bro. You know, and honestly, man, I don't know, man. I don't know how that, that whole works. situation with, with with P. I think Snoop might have got in his ear or something. I don't know. Huh. Like, man, what's up with this nigga? You, you with the West LA niggas? You know, I fuck with West LA niggas like that, think man. So, what's going huh? on? Really? The fuck is up, man. I was just with you, nigga. Really? I was just with you, P. You got this West LA nigga talking about Pico and shit, man. You know? <laughs> think so, huh? I think Snoop Bro. Was like Eastside hated on you. And honestly, I love it. Wasn't nothing like that because I yeah. love Snoop. Yeah. I didn't even, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, PF, you know? Damn, dude. Well, shit, man. Philly man. Max, excuse me. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, damn, did Snoop die? Now they fucking hear the, hear the story? That whole situation <laughs> back that happened back in the day. Yeah. With the whole bodyguard incident. Oh, okay. Oh, that's That okay. whole shit, man. Okay. So. It's Damn. been a lot of little bullshit, but I never, nigga, I could have went to Snoop House several times. Really? Because Snoop House was wide open at Diamond Bar. Anybody could have went, you know? Damn, dude. So I was really going to go one time just to chill, smoke. Yeah. I would have probably got packed out on some shit, but I wasn't even thinking like that because my mind, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, I love man. Snoop. It wasn't like That's that. That's fucked up. That's that I think the Snoop was yet. like, bro, I don't know. What's up, bro? You got this nigga because Peach is, boom, it was done. Nigga didn't hit me up, you feel me? Yeah. Because I wasn't, like, banging in my shit. I was just, like, a West L.A. representative. I wasn't mm-hmm. even, like, claiming no, you feel me? Yeah. But, I mean, if you look, dig deep into it, you can see you can find the roots. You feel me? Easy. But, like I said, I wasn't, like, no nigga out there, like, going to meetings, going to put in work, doing shit. I was just, like, low-key. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? I was a young nigga at that time when I had got initially, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But uh, as far as, like, I don't even dip, I don't even speak on that shit at the end of the day because... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let nigga that's more qualified speak on that whole shit like that, you yeah, know? Yeah, But as a young nigga growing up, I used to drive my ride my bike down Pico, that same park the homie got killed at. No, oh, really? We used to always, we used to go down that park as 11 years old, you damn, know? Dog. So ride my bike down there, my nigga. So that whole shit hit home, but... That makes, damn, okay. Yeah, bro, that's yeah. why I'm like, was it the West LA situation, bro? I was trying to see, yeah, you, you wrapped it all together. Damn, dog. Uh. Shout out to homies doing that shit, too. Yeah. With the music shit, man. My homeboy, D, D, DW. Do wrong, you feel me? Everybody in that whole section, man. Everywhere from the hundreds, from Pico to the hundreds. Who you fucking with right now, music wise? Man, on the west or anywhere, anywhere. Oh man, honestly, just everything, bro. Yeah, it's just a lot of different shit, man. Yeah, a lot of different stuff. As y'all can't tell you, like specific, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, I keep the it young old shit, the older shit, the old school shit, the '90s shit. You yeah, know? Yeah. A lot of the '90s, you know, a lot of the, like. Early 2000s, like 90s for sure, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Well, shit, Isaiah, um, where can we find you? And more importantly, how can people get in touch with your product? Products. Um, you could go to dietaryresolutions.com. Say it again? Dietaryresolutions.com. Okay. Um, you can find us on at Dietary Resolutions mm-hmm. on Instagram. That's it. I love it, man. Man of sh- many words, but when he wants to keep it fucking short. That boy short, powerful. Hey, short, I man. honestly didn't even tell him we was going to Dusty Vision, yo. That's dope, yo. I'm like, hey, I didn't even yeah, know. He didn't know. I'm like, hey, made, bro. That made the interview kind of like go in and out. This that shit was nigga. dope as hell, man. That was yeah. really dope. Yeah, no, this he, nigga, yeah. 
I hope you guys learn some shit, and I hope we get to, um, you know, help you sell your products, even though I'm sure you guys are doing perfectly fine out there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially with all the endorsements from, you know, the actor, actors and, and all of that. Yeah. Um, rappers and shit. But, yeah, man, um, Dusty Vision Radio right here on Super Audio Network every Thursday. And Dre knows that as the show goes on, I get higher and higher. And by the end of the show... My brain is just mush. Yeah, that boy Dre is a fucking genius. <laughs> he, dog, I don't know how he does it. Dr. Those Dre. Dabs. It's the Dr. This Pepper, too. Setup, I was, man, this whole little setup, setup, man. When you get high, it's clean, good vibes. Bro, I you. had to. I'm like, fuck that phone <laughs> shit, my nigga. We sliding in. I love boy. it, man. I'm glad you came through, homeboy. Yes, I'm glad you came through. I'm glad you made that ride, man. Make sure you man. guys, yeah. um, you know, uh, check out me every Thursday right here on Super Audio Network. Dusty Vision Radio, Isaiah, it's been a pleasure. Dino West, it's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. Dre Day nice. all day, it's always a pleasure, my man. Yeah. And make sure you guys King. tune in to Super Audio Network this Saturday. We're having our comedy show, Unopened Open Mike. Mic. Of course, if fucking the government closes yeah, us down yeah, at the last yeah, second, last then, second then. but it's gonna all be um, coronavirus, coronavirus, uh, you know, friendly. We're not gonna be all squished and you know packed and all that. It's gonna be an in intimate environment. It's already sold out, but you can watch it on Super Audio Network. Doctor. What time, Dre? Uh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. on Saturday. Let's get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace. We out. That was dope.